So I had like, I had an internship at this company, third floor. They do like a lot of previs and VFX for, for most of the big feature films. I got started there. I think the first feature I worked on was Avengers Age of Ultron. Holy shit. Um, and that was just as an intern in college. <laughs> and I was like pretty stoked on that. <laughs> yeah. I and then, um, yeah, at one point. So after that ended, they like, they, they, they actually like, I was vibing so well with them that they, they like pulled me out of school for a couple of weeks to, uh, go work with, uh, Robert Zemeckis on, uh, that movie, the walk, which is, uh, that Joseph McCord led the movie with the dude, like walking between the yeah, world the, trade center. The, the rope, the um, rope. Yeah. So they pulled me out of school for a couple of weeks to work on that, which is pretty cool. And I got to like sit next to like Robert Zemeckis, which Damn, is insane. That is, <laughs> what the yeah. f- how, how did this, how did you even get an internship? Like, how does that even work in, in the school program? Like, how did you get vetted into being one of the interns that got to work on Avengers to start with? Uh, I mean, I just applied. One of my professors was working at that company at the time. Uh, and he, you know, he told me about the internship I applied and, I mean, I had a, I had some VFX work that I'd, you know, I just worked on like everybody's short film in college. So wow. I had a bunch of random VFX work. And so that kind of like got me in a little bit. And then, um, yeah, I mean, they're just, it was like first day, like, all right, we're working on adventures. So I was like, all right, great. At that time, had you worked on, I mean, you said you had some VFX work, but was that just like personal test, like test products that you were making, like just college content that you would just make for yourself? Or were you already working with other clients? Um, there were, I was doing a little bit of freelance stuff. I mean, I was basically doing freelance since I was like 18 or so. Like I got started pretty early. Right. I think at that time I had already done one year at Coachella. Oh, so right. yeah. So, it, and it was like the first year at Coachella was like, we did it for free and it was like, it was like just for fun, just to get our like foot in the door. Right. Um, type of thing, but multi-million yeah. dollar festival and you guys are like, let's just go do have fun for free. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, I think before I worked on the features, I might've had, I I think I did an internship with this YouTube channel before that, uh, corridor digital. Right. If you heard of those guys, yes, that was, that was one of my first internships as well. That's really cool with those guys. And they taught me a lot about, you know, just like running gun and stuff and VFX. So, so it sounds like at that point, obviously Avengers was a, a gigantic step up compared to the projects and the, and the teams that you'd been working on prior. Um, what, what, what what was like, how, how was it for someone in college who just got greenlit with the illest job internship job (laughs) ever, and then to go on to continue to work on these films? Cause it it, did that kind of carve out your path for a while. Was it, was it working on features like that after you, you know, you did the walk and that kind of led into other films or did you start just kind of dipping into all types of different content? Uh, it was a little bit of both. So I, I, I was like, you know, I was doing the music thing on the side. So I was doing like a lot of music industry work, um, you know, with Coachella, like random music videos all over the place, other music festivals. Um, and so that I was doing that kind of freelance on the side and then also the feature stuff. Like I think the day after I graduated, um, a different one of my professors, uh, hired me at, another studio that was working on, uh, feature films. And so, and, and VR stuff, we got started really early with, uh, with some of the high profile, like VR projects. So out of all the features and all the VR stuff in that moment, what, what was like one of your biggest highlights out of all those projects that are like the, the greatest fulfillment, or is it just like the fact that you were able to touch some of it? Uh, yeah, as a whole, I mean, it was, it was, it was really good experience. I mean, I mean, I met a ton of great artists that we still work with today. Um, and you know, of course I got like a bunch of IMDB credits, which, which helped. And yeah, I mean, I I don't think there was any one, but you know, the experience was good, like straight out of college to be, you know, working on all, all that stuff. Thanks for listening to this clip. Make sure to listen to the full interview, which is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Hit the subscribe button for more highlights and join our Black Window Cream private community for creators. Links in the description.